Hi, I'm Lou, and this is my son, Luke, and we're refurbishing my dad's old tractor. All thumbs the hood, gas tank, air filter, and head cover. All the parts we took off. Head bolts are in really tight, so we're using this pipe for leverage. Part of our problem is we have a blown head gasket, which is a hole between cylinders two and three. Here are two of the valves taken out, and you can see we have a problem here on cylinder four. See how bad that is right there? And this one over here is actually pretty good. When an engine is stopped, at least some of the valves have to be open, and I think these and those were open for about 10 years, and the humidity got in there and rusted them up. So we'll send the head off to a machine shop and get the valve seats ground down and get a new head gasket. Here are the valves taken out and you can see the same issue. This one is actually pretty good. That one's not so good. We may just buy a new set of valves. The cylinders actually look really good, but we're gonna go ahead and pop out a piston now that we've come this far and take a look at the rings. First, we'll clean the old gasket off the top of our block. And out come our pistons. The pistons don't look too bad, but we're definitely gonna get a new set of rings. Here's the head back from the machine shop with new valves, new springs. Here's my new head gasket. And I was just gonna get rings, but I got a good deal on a whole set of pistons. Next, we need to make sure all our bolt holes are clean and we'll do that with a tap and an air compressor nozzle. And then also we want our bolts to be super clean as well. And we'll use a die to make sure those threads are good. Next, we'll run a ball hone to clean out the inside of the cylinders, just powered by a drill. Nice and shiny. So we're going to replace our old pistons with our new pistons. And the old pistons have a little arrow there that says to the front of the engine. These new pistons have this little notch. So we put a snap ring in one side of the piston. There's a number here, in this case three, that goes to the front of the engine. And then this notch goes to the front of the engine, so it's lined up like that. Use this assembly lube on the wrist pin, put in the connecting rod, and then we pop in a retaining clip on this side. Now we're putting assembly lube on the cylinder walls. We need to compress the rings in order to get them into the cylinder, and there's a special tool for that called a ring compressor. And we don't have it, but it looks a lot like this. Basically a sleeve and a hose clamp that goes around it. Compressing and ready to go in. Notch towards the front of the tractor, drop in the piston, and tap it in. We put on our rod caps using 50 pounds of torque on the main nuts and three pounds on the pal nuts. Put on the head gasket. On goes the head. Put a little bit of oil on the bolt seats and a little bit of oil on the head bolt threads. Torquing down the head bolts is something you absolutely want to do correctly. So we have this manual here and the bolts are numbered and we've numbered the bolts out there. First, we're simply going to snug these down by hand in order. Number one, two, and all the way through 12. Now we're torquing them down in order just to 20 pounds each. Now we're doing 35 pounds each, 50 pounds each. The reason we're going slow and in order is if you go too quick on one side, you can actually crack the head. Final torque of 65 foot pounds. In go the push rods. Some assembly lube on all the contact points. Rocker arm assembly, drop in the bolts. This is the pipe that comes from the oil pump. There's a new O-ring there that came with our gasket kit and it goes down in there and the other end lands right there. Oil outlet tube goes right there and just basically drains into this tray. These two end bolts have slotted metal tabs that hold down the pipes. So we're just gonna snug these down and then go to 25 pounds and then 50 pounds. For each cylinder with the piston in the top dead center position of the compression stroke, both of these should be just a little bit loose. You have them set correctly when a 15 thousandths feeler gauge is kind of snug. This one is about right, and this one is obviously very loose. So we tighten this up to close the gap. Much better. Repeat for all four, and the book says to actually do it again when the engine is warmed up and running at idle speed. New gaskets and combination intake exhaust manifold. The manifold is held on by six studs coming out of the block, tightened on with these washers and nuts at 27 pounds. 
We'll line the oil pan with ultra gray and bolt it on. Let's take a look at the oil filter. We'll get a new cartridge and it looks like it's a Napa Gold 1004. The cover was looking pretty bad, so we'll sand and paint. We got a new gasket in the pack and our coolant connector goes right on here. Now we add six quarts of oil right in here. Now we're gonna crank it over a few times with the spark plugs out to get the oil flowing. Pre-mixed engine coolant, spark plugs, carburetor. We're all ready to test with a temporary gas tank. We've got some more tuning to do, but we definitely got it running. Thanks for watching. Click the link below for part one and stay tuned for part three.